All right, today I want to show you my favorite new way of visualizing data using .NET and Visual Studio Code. So here I am in a polyglot notebook in Visual Studio Code, and this is a collection of cells that I can run uh, C Sharp Logic or other languages. In this case, I want to install a bunch of NuGet packages that allow me to do data visualization and uh, interactive experiments. And now I'm going to write some simple C Sharp code it's going to actually just read a comma separated value file containing episode data from the TV show Doctor Who and put it into something called a data frame. And when I run this, I get to see the first row of results. So I see I've got the index column, the episode ID, the title, the description, and all these other uh, columns that are associated with this particular episode of Doctor Who. Now, most of these columns I don't really care about, so I'm going to now write some code to remove those columns. But first I need to know what columns actually exist. So I'm going to need to select from my columns, I'm going to map those basically just to their names and create an array out of that. And once I have that array, I can validate it just by displaying it below the cell in my notebook. So this Jupyter, or sorry, this Polyglot notebook is effectively its own type of application. And I slipped up there saying Jupyter notebook because Polyglot notebooks is of course built on top of Jupyter as its own kernel integrated into the, the uh, Jupyter notebook experience. But those lots of write code and see the results immediately. And here's some code here that loops through all the columns. And if the column is a name that I don't really care about, such as it is or has, or uh, depending on which day it aired, I'm just going to remove it from my data frame because I really don't care about it. And this line eight here, I, I just want to see the last three, uh, the first three columns, or sorry, the first three rows of my data frame. So here I've got a very simple data frame. Now this up to this point is very similar to what you can do in Python with pandas. But I want to show you something really, really, really cool. There's a library called Sandance that lets you visualize things in a really incredible manner. So here I'm going to take this data frame, I'm going to convert it to a tabular data resource, which is what uh, which is what uh, Sandance needs. I can call Explore with Sandance. I'm just going to take a look at the results. And here I see I've got this nice little editor, and this editor here allows me to pick what what uh, what things I care about. So here. Uh, if I wanted to see the doctor ID for which doctor of Doctor Who, let's say I care about the rating. So I switch that up and now I see I got this nice animated transition. Uh, I'm currently colorizing by the episode ID. Uh, that doesn't seem like a great idea. Let's instead colorize by the season of the show. Or maybe we colorize by uh, the doctor that was uh, uh, delivering it. Now, it is now colorized by the doctor and I can hover over any given episode to get more details on that episode, but I don't necessarily agree with this green to red color scheme. So I can go into uh, the color settings over here and I can change this color scheme. And this is not necessarily a sequential color scheme, but maybe more of a, uh, a categorical color scheme. So now I can and have different things. And instead of using quantile or quantized binning, I can just use continuous binning. And so where I see the ninth doctor is teal, and the tenth is blue or, or purple, and all of this. And if I don't like this color scheme, well, I can choose a different one and see which ones I do like, right? So I have a lot of options available to me uh, to do rich sort of data analysis right here in my notebook, okay? Um, and so here I'm seeing the the effect of the uh, the doctor on the the ratings, and so we see the. The best rated episode is, of course, Heaven Sent uh, from the from 12th Doctor. But then we also see Forest of the Dead and Blink featuring, of course, David Tennant, uh, the 10th Doctor. Okay. But maybe you don't care about the rating as much. Maybe we care about the viewership. And so we can start to you know, filter down our, our, our things and see, like, what were my factors for my good episodes, the episodes that I get higher viewership? And we start to see some trends if you apply your knowledge of the show. And we see that, uh, oh, the, the, the season beginning episodes and the major uh, turning points of the series, they tend to get a higher degree of viewership than, uh, than others. Right. So I've got some really cool stuff you can do here. You can also go to a scatter plot, uh, though this, uh, this Y axis here is on the date and that is really not formatted the way we would want it to. Uh, so let's change it to something else 
uh, just just given the the weaknesses of this data set that I'm working with right here. So here's the episode ID. Uh, I could also change it up to look at the season and the like and start. We can start to see the trends inherent in our data. Now, there's a lot of different uh, approaches you can do things with grids and bars and tree maps and strips and stacks. And uh, frankly, I haven't played around with all of these yet, but I'm really excited because this lets me really quickly look at uh, data inside of VS Code, and it works really well with Polyglot Notebooks in particular. Now, if you're not into Polyglot Notebooks, that's fine. Subscribe to me and take a look at some of my other videos, and I'm going to get you started on that. But if you really want a quick win, well, this is actually available outside of Polyglot Notes Notebooks. In VS Code, you can do, just go in and find the Sandance extension and install it. And once you have that extension installed, you can go in and right click on any uh, CSV file you want. So I can right click on the Titanic data set, view it in uh, Sandance, and now I get to see um, more information about that particular data set. And I don't need to have Jupyter Notebooks or Polyglot Notebooks or anything else installed. So Sandance is this really awesome library from Microsoft Research that lets you just visualize your data in an interactive manner. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I really enjoy playing with it, and I hope you do too.